What's going on YouTube? Mike here with Heart Knives, and in this video we're going to be doing the 500 subscriber giveaway and we're going to go over some uh, channel updates. There's a lot going on with the channel. I've been doing a lot of stuff. So uh, within the last, I'd say, three or four weeks, uh, we had the COVID-19 stuff going on. I'm in New England, so uh, we got hit you know, pretty early on with it. My wife and I are both home, so I've been doing a lot of knife stuff, making videos. I want to thank um, Gerald. I want to thank Patty. I want to thank Steve. Those three, I'd say, probably gave me the biggest start in the YouTube community, uh, in the Instagram community. They also did, uh, but there's others to mention, like Mike Likes Knives. He's the first to like really put my name out on Instagram, uh, letting people know about the channel. KME user, John has been tremendous in the ways that he's helped the channel, sending knives. Um, if I forget anybody, I'm really sorry. It, my, my mind is kind of jumbled up right now, but there's just countless people who've helped sending knives and people getting straps and stuff. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's a really cool community and I'm glad I got to know so many people. I do want to make a, a channel announcement to as to why things have been slow, you know, earlier on, uh, like around the holidays until now. My wife and I are expecting, so with the baby coming and uh, just life in general, things have been hectic. I apologize for not getting content out as fast as, as I should be. Um, I have a lot of stuff backlogged. Things have been, you know, kind of crazy. So I made my 500 subscriber giveaway about three weeks ago. I'm just getting to filming this now. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know how, how life goes. So let's get into the giveaway and the parameters. You need to be subscribed, you need to like the video, and you need to leave a comment. So make sure you leave a comment below. I'm gonna do a drawing like I did in the past. If you win, send me an email at iheartknivesyahoo.com and just all I need basically is uh, like a screenshot of your YouTube dashboard to make sure that you're legitimate and I'll need your address and stuff like that where to send it. I'm going to do two winners. First winner will do uh, the giveaway of this knife. Second giveaway is going to be a straw. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, and you'll obviously you know be on the list to be drawn as a winner. So right now I think we're at like 508 subscribers, so it should be a pretty, you know, a pretty decent comment list. But let's get into the knife. I did 1084. It's about as simple carbon steel as you can get. Um, I did a G10 handle, and I tried to make basically like a utility knife, but with a little bit more class than just like a, you know, fuck shit up type utility knife. Like I did a crown spine on it. I did a little bit thinner of a grind than I would normally do if I was making a knife to just like beat the piss out of. Um, this will still take, you know, a decent amount of abuse, but I wouldn't like try to chop a tree down or anything with it. Uh, I did a G10 handle with mosaic pins and, you know, I contoured the G10. I did a finger choil or a finger groove or notch and I did a, a four, I think this is a 400 grit, either 400 or 800, I can't remember, uh, hand sanded finish. I'm pretty sure it's 400 though. And it took a pretty nice edge. Um, I'll sharpen it again before I send it to you. Just from putting it in and out of the sheath and stuff, it it's not as sharp as I want it to be. So I'll sharpen it at least one more time. So if there's any fatigue steel or anything, you know, I'll get that off. Um, I've done two sharpening so far with it. I didn't use my grinder to put the, the initial edges on, so I should have limited fatigue steel. Because I, I really took my time and used coarse abrasives to make sure that I didn't build up heat. And I also did a, a handmade sheath for it. So pretty much made a sheath that will hold the knife, the weight of the knife, but then I also threw a little loop on that you can pull over the stud and it'll hold it so 
if this the sheath stretches over time and the weight of the knife pulls out this will catch it you can carry it sideways on a belt I have a you know, I made a belt loop um, or you can you could theoretically go up and down with it I'm, I mean you kind of have to go like on an angle though if you choose to do that um, I would I would just go sideways I think that's going to be the easiest way or like I said you can put it on an angle you know this I made this so that it moves the up and down you know like a hip carry is kind of uncomfortable depending I mean this is a pretty thick sheath so I figured it would be kind of an annoying carry but I think the sideways carry will you know will suit people better again it probably will stretch out over time as any you know natural products do but for the time being it works so let me move the camera I'll take you guys down closer show you more details and we'll wrap this thing up this is all handmade hand dyed I dyed it black this is all hand stitched uh, I did a little belt loop thing so you can you know stick it on your belt pretty much from either side but it's it's more of a right hand carry this is the knife this is 1084 steel and I just did a you know a forge heat treat heated it up to critical temperature held it there for maybe 30 seconds and then quenched it in oil the handle is G10 it's blue and black layered G10 and I did mosaic pins they're brass and copper pins I did a finger groove so even you know I have good size hands even my hand fits this handle pretty well and uh, I also did a crown spine as well so it's a pretty cool knife I figured just like a utility knife you know it's not crazy thin behind the edge because I figured if you know someone was new to the channel and they didn't know you know what kind of use you can make with this knife uh, you know if they stab the the tip into something I didn't want it breaking off if you go too thin then you run the risk of of you know edge deformation really especially with 1084 it's a pretty tough steel but I ran it pretty hard. Um, I only tempered it, I think I tempered it two 75 minute cycles or two 90 minute cycles, I can't remember, at like 375. So it's 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 really not, it's not gonna be soft. It's probably like a 60 HRC. Um, 1084, it will rust, but you can see so far there's no rust. It does have a hand sanded finish there's some slight scratches on it just you know during the sharpening process and stuff it happens and I don't know if you can see it it's kinda of difficult to see I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this lighting but you can actually see the ghost line because I didn't quench the whole piece of steel in oil I left the handle soft so uh, you know it would take a little bit of shock absorption but you can see what's called the ghost line which is the hardened steel in the soft steel where they separate there's a little line that runs up here and you could probably see it so the hardened steel comes to back here and then the soft steel starts right at the back of the spine here and then runs through the handle so you know even if you sharpened it all the way up to where the G10 hits at the finger groove uh, you'll still have hardened steel all the way up and then at that point you know something would have to be done with a knife but you have quite a few sharpenings the G10 sanded out really nicely I did a contoured handle I didn't really do a tapered tang I left it pretty thick but you can see the contouring is pretty even and the thickness of the handle is is pretty even all the way through then I did uh, you know, the traditional 45s uh, at the at the start of the handles and then again the mosaic pins copper and brass and those will patina nicely you know, just buff the buff the G10 and the and the pins 
and finished with I think I finished with an it was either 400 or 800 finish on this either way you know it came out nice I tried to keep it pretty simple again thank you guys so much for helping me get to the 500 count on the subscriber list we're just a little bit over 500 uh, but I really appreciate all you guys uh, so make sure you get in on this giveaway uh, go ahead and leave a comment below and hit the like button Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can win. Uh, if you do all those things, then you know you'll be entered to win the contest. And then, uh, in about a week, uh, depending how many comments are up, I'll do the drawing and I'll do the video, and uh, you know I'll record the the drawing. If it takes a little bit longer than a week, then so be it. But I want to give you know enough people a chance to win it because I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool gift. And I'm going to do a second place prize uh, and I'll do a giveaway strop. So my normal giveaway strop. And that's going to do it. So go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment, and good luck. Hopefully you're the winner. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Later.